4 raised to the power 52 multiplied by 25 raised to the power 49. We quickly want to calculate this without using calculator solution. 4 raised to the power 52 multiplied by 25 raised to the power 49. Then 4 raised to the power 52 is same thing as 4 raised to the power 3 multiplied by 4 raised to the power 49 then multiply by 25 raised to the power 49 if you have a raised to the power n multiply by a raised to the power m then this will give you what a raised to the power n plus m 4 raised to the power 3 multiply by 4 times 25 raised to the power 49 and that is we have a raised to the power n multiplied by b raised to the power n this is same thing as a multiplied by b raised to the power n now here we have 4 raised to the power 3 times 4 times 25 this is 100 raised to the power 49 our answer is going to be in the form a times 10 raised to the power b let's see what will happen remember that 100 is same thing as 10 square 100 is 10 square then we have 4 raised to the power 3 multiply by 10 square raised to the power 49. Also, if you have a raised to the power n raised to the power m, the same thing as a raised to the power n m. 4 raised to the power 3 multiply by 10 raised to the power 49 times 2. This is 98. 4 raised to the power 3 is what? 4 times 4 times 4 which is equal to what 64 then we have 64 multiplied by 10 raised to the power 98 and remember that our answer is going to be in the form a multiplied by 10 raised to the power b now in order to transform this into this let this is 64 times 10 raised to the power 98. Now, let's bring decimal point here. If you shift this one back a bit, in order to put decimal point here, this is 1, then you add 1 to this exponent. So, we have 6.4 multiplied by 10 raised to the power 98 plus 1, that is 99. And our final answer is 6.4 times 10 raised to the power 99. That is our final answer.